Sean Shakur and Charmy back again with another video, so I'm pumped up. You know, as many of you guys already know, Fortnite has just released a new update, which is the start of Chapter 2, Season 5. All right, so this new season has brought a lot of major and minor changes to the map, loot pool, you know, and overall meta. And with that being said, here are four important things that you probably didn't consider in Chapter 2, Season 5. Are you guys ready for this? Here we go. But before we hop into these important changes, all right, you probably haven't considered this. If you're looking for even more of the most helpful and up-to-date Fortnite content, look no further than ProGuys.com. And you can find a ton of amazing guides and courses 24-7 on-demand coaching from pros and our brand new course with the pro player himself, Clicks. We got so much going on, man. So much going on. So excited for what this season has to offer. So each new Fortnite season usually comes with a wide variety of weapon changes. These weapon changes can include vaulting weapons, unvaulting weapons, and brand new weapon additions. So you're somebody who's looking to improve fast in Chapter 2 Season 5, right? So the first thing that you need to do is familiarize yourself with the new weapons, man. So important. So what's changed? What has Fortnite added to the game weapon-wise? What did they take out? These are all questions that you should be asking yourself when dropping out of the battle bus early this new season. All right, so with that being said, said my friends there are a couple of major changes to the weapon pool this season all right if you guys are on social media and back with the fortnite community you probably already know what i'm about to say the pump shotgun is gone this is by far the biggest change to the loot pool simply because it changes the way players fight entirely. The most important thing that you can do in this new season is master the shotgun meta, but specifically learn it quickly. So it's a proven fact that in all the past seasons, shotgun play has been very vital in the success of almost every player. With this major change, it's essential that you take the time and just familiarize yourself with not only the entire loot pool, but specifically all of the brand new additions to the game. There are a couple of new additions, all right? One brand new weapon and a handful of unvaultings. One of the most controversial unvaultings is the unvaulting of the P90. Anyone who has played with or against the P90 knows in past seasons how much it absolutely shreds. It is one of those weapons, man, that controller players love to use with aim assist with its fast fire rate and high ammo capacity. This gun is detrimental to opponents when box fighting, and considering that box fighting has been a staple in nearly everyone's playstyle for the past couple of seasons now, this will definitely be a huge change. Another change to the weapon meta is the addition of the Dragon Breath Shotgun. This gun is very similar to the double barrel shotgun that was featured in a lot of chapter one seasons. And let me tell you this, guys, this thing is extremely powerful. Due to this weapon only being high damage dealing at close range, it's surely going to take some time to really get used to it. For all of chapter 2, okay, there hasn't been a shotgun like this before. In fact, quite the opposite, to be real. Like, for the most part, I mean, we've only seen shotguns like the combat, charge, or pump shotgun that are effective at both, you know, close range and medium range. Besides the tack, which is only effective at close ranges, the shotgun meta has been very close to medium range fights. Considering in chapter two, season four, that not even tacks were available, there really hasn't really been a shotgun that can just reach out that medium range recently. This is a huge change in season five. With the addition of the Dragon Breath Shotgun and Unvaulting Attack this season, there are now two shotgun options that are super devastating at close range. So the next important thing that you can learn is the changes to movement available, both around the map and in the loot pool this new season. This season features a variety of different movement types that haven't been seen in any other season. In the middle of the map, there is like basically a desert. Like if you're standing stationary for a period of time, you start to slowly sink into the sand until you're fully immersed. From here, I mean, you're gonna be underground and able to just move at significantly higher speeds than normal running. You aren't really visible besides for like a small hill but can still be tagged by opponents. While moving in the sand, a slight dust trail appears behind you. Since this area is in the middle of the map from most zones, you're gonna be able to move significantly faster to the next zone. So the sand is essential for mid game rotations, guys, because it provides a lot of cover from opponents as well as increases your movement speed to rotate quicker. On top of this sand movement addition, they also added specialized crystals along the map. So these crystals are found throughout the middle of the map and allows players to just basically teleport forward with the double tap of their jump button. 
when a player is under the influence of these consumable crystals, okay, they are nearly impossible to hit when teleporting. The mobility of the sand alongside the crystals just make it extremely difficult for opponents to take heavy damage dealing shots on you while you're rotating mid-game. So both of these movement mechanics, I mean, they seem pretty straightforward. I strongly suggest, my friends, that you jump into the game for yourself and just master these items and they will surely prove to be a staple in competitive Fortnite. So another change that is essential that we gotta talk about is specifically the overall change in terrain throughout the entire map. So anybody who drops out of the battle bus this season can see the obvious changes, right? The desert in the middle of the map, the new POIs and new landing spots. So one thing that is often not considered is the POIs and landing spots that will have a huge effect on rotations throughout the season is how close they are to each other this season. So outside of the desert, I mean, near where, you know, Stark Building used to reside, there is a new POI called the Colossal Coliseum. All right, this POI is extremely unique and something that is brand new to the Fortnite space. So when approaching this POI, you're gonna notice that it's surrounded by huge brick walls that look like if broken, it would produce brick, but it actually has a twist. The walls to get into this POI are unbreakable, meaning you can't just farm them for any materials. The only way that you will be able to get into the POI is if you land there at the beginning of the game, build over the walls, or use two of the available gates. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is a very interesting mechanic, especially for people just, you know, to be safe in the mid game. If you base upon, you know, one of these walls, it's literally impossible for people to break you down, meaning you're going to be extremely safe during the mid game. And this is just one example of a new terrain addition to Fortnite that is surely going to have a huge impact on the way competitive Fortnite is played this season. Really excited about this one. So another really interesting aspect of the terrain changes in chapter two, season five is the openness around the center of the map. In all of past chapter two seasons, there has been water of some sort, you know, occupying, you know, majority of the center of the map. This is a huge change for chapter two, season five, because the middle of the map is now completely solid land, and it has just opened up a ton of lanes for rotating. Some might anticipate rotations mid game being, you know, significantly easier because players will be able to use the center of the map to rotate more than in past seasons solely due to the fact that it's not covered in water. Okay, so if any of you guys are consistent viewers of Pro Guys, you probably heard us talk, you know, a lot about player densities, right? Player densities refer to how many players are going to be in any given area at any point throughout a Fortnite match. With this new season comes interesting changes to player densities for a couple of reasons. With the addition of Salty Towers, Stealthy Stronghold, Colonial Coliseum, and Hunter's Haven, all located on the mainland of the map this season. So prior seasons, we saw a lot of feature POIs located outside the mainland, such as the Shark and the Rig, right? As a result of no POIs being located outside of the mainland, there's gonna be crazy changes to player densities. This means that instead of having like 10 plus players in previous seasons that landed outside of the mainland, all of the players will be located on the map. This is going to bring the overall density of players closer together, which will obviously have more effects on all aspects of the game. Even tasks as simple as rotating to the first zone might be more challenging with more centralized POIs. Not to mention that the POI are significantly closer this season than in any other chapter two season. All right guys, so quick recap, here we go. First, familiarize yourself with the current weapon pool. Take the time to learn the new weapons that have been introduced this season. And second, identify the movement that is available for you and just really just begin to adapt to the new rotational meta, all right? Third, make sure you check out the newest POIs. With each new season, it is so important that you take the time to learn each new map addition. Fourth, there have been a lot of new fish added to the mix, so just make sure that you figure out what all of them do before tournaments start up. Next, make sure that you understand how the new map terrain is going to affect this season's meta. Okay, and finally, acknowledge that the player densities around the map will change with recent map updates and just be analytical of these density changes in game, all right? So there have been so many changes to all the aspects of chapter two, you know, season five, including the loot pool and map. With this in mind, it's so essential, man, that, that you take the time to learn all of these new aspects and really just master them before the next round of tournaments, okay? You guys can do it. Bunch of crunch army. You already know who I am and I believe in you. So keep grinding and I'll see you on the next one.